It has been recorded that the earliest civilizations were formed near riverbanks. The pyramid and mound building civilizations of the Mississippi. Ancient Egyptians who were based on the Nile. The Mesopotamians in the Fertile Crescent on the Tigris Euphrates rivers and the ancient Chinese on the Yellow River. Great civilizations flourished near water sources. Why did ancient civilizations develop near riverbanks and alluvial fields? Rivers were idea locations because they provided a steady supply of drinking water, easy access to water for growing crops, and easily transporting them to nearby towns. Indeed, where there is water, there is life. Our very existence is dependent on water. Families live near water sources. Families grow into neighborhoods. Neighborhoods grow into communities. Communities into civilizations. Building a water neighborhood is a small replica of civilization. Notable civilizations begin where water is abundant. And as time goes by, some water resources are slowly destroyed with industrialization, pollution, climate change, overuse, and human greed. Which leads us to water scarcity and soil pollution. Water scarcity affects more than 2.8 billion people globally. It is both a natural and a human-made phenomenon. Water scarcity and soil pollution are becoming the biggest threats to humanity in the past, present, and even in our future. So how do we deal with it? Let's talk about soil pollution. In Tacoma, Pierce County, a city in Washington State, on the banks of Puget Sound, south of Seattle, it is known that for almost 100 years, the Asarco Company operated a copper smelter. Air pollution from the smelter settled on the surface soil of more than 1,000 square miles of the Puget Sound Basin. Arsenic, lead, and other heavy metals are still in the soil as a result of this pollution. Arsenic and lead are toxic metals that pose risks if you accidentally ingest or inhale the contaminated soil. Growing something in this type of soil with too much lead would be difficult and most of all, too risky. Imagine eating a vegetable with a smell or compound of lead. Thus, growing food in Tacoma requires a lot of patience and funds. On average, the cost for a raised garden bed kit is $145.48 with a typical range from $104 to $210.46. Raised garden bed kits come in many different material, all varying in prices. Common kit materials include wood, PVC or vinyl, galvanized steel, and composite wood. The most expensive kit is for a raised garden bed made of composite wood. Pricing varies depending on the size, material cost, and labor. With all these numbers, no wonder many people can only afford to buy from fast food chains. Easy access, fast, but not so healthy food consumption. Which leads us to another problem, obesity, which has worsened since the pandemic began in 2020. According to the report from the Trust for America's Health, 16 states had adult obesity rates at or above 35%, up from 12 states the previous year. Soil restoration. Soil restoration is the process of improving the structure, microbial life, nutrient density, and overall mineral and carbon levels of soil. It is an essential process for making your soil healthy and productive. It's also one of the most challenging tasks. There are different methods you can use to restore your soil, such as adding compost, mulching, or tilling. Sheet mulching. In permaculture, 
Sheet mulching is an agricultural, no-dig gardening technique that attempts to mimic the natural soil building process in forests. One of the biggest benefits of sheet mulching is that it's good for the soil. In fact, it's often used by organic farmers to improve the soil in the fields and to make soil as it decomposes. When you sheet mulch, you're adding organic matter to the soil, which will then break down over time and improve the soil's texture and nutrient content, as well as volume. One of the best examples of how sheet mulching can do wonders is our Franklin Park Community Garden Sheet Mulching Project. We transformed the garden from this to this in two months. From day one, the plot looks like a swamp. The previous owners of the plot decided to let go for 10 years as it was too tedious to maintain. With the help of many volunteers, friends, and institutions, such as Harvest Pierce County and Foundry 10, Omec Agrotech, together with the volunteers, slowly transformed the plot into a bountiful garden. Five months later, we were able to harvest corn, watermelons, salad greens, and many other delicious, nutritious vegetables. Transforming the garden was proof that there is still hope in growing healthy and organic food, even in a polluted soil environment, with proper techniques, tools, assistance, and lots of patience. Not only did we restore the soil, we also built a small water garden within the garden, which will soon be home for different aquatic life. Where water is abundant, there is life.